Hello, this is a quick and dirty guide on uploading any of my models that you can get from Gumroad. Uh, I've tried to make the upload process as streamlined as possible so that people who might not understand the whole Unity ecosystem can get one of my avatars uploaded pretty easily. First thing you'll need to do is make sure that you get the right version of Unity. Uh, to do that, you'll need to go to this URL, it'll be linked in the description. This will tell you exactly which version of Unity you need to download. Uh, currently, that is Unity 2018-420F1. Uh, this will be changing in the future, so just make sure you check this page before you try and upload. You can either do it through Unity Hub, which I recommend you do, or if you're so inclined, you can download the EXE version. Once you have Unity installed, you'll need to make a new project. I'm using Unity Hub here. So just make sure that you are using the correct version of Unity, 2018-420-F1. It'll create a new project, name this project whatever. For this uh, example, I'm going to be using my COBOL, so I'll just call this COBOL example. And it'll take a moment for you to open the project. While that's working, we also need to get the VRChat SDK. We need to get to VRChat. You can quickly get there just by going to vrchat.com. Once you're there, you'll need to click on download from left sidebar after you log in. Depending on the version of the VRChat SDK that your avatar uses, you'll need to download one of these. Check your readme that comes with the download to make sure you get the right one. So for this one, we're gonna be using SDK3, so we'll download that. Now, once we're in Unity, we're first going to import the VRChat SDK. Start by going over top left, clicking Assets, Import Package, and Custom Package. You're going to go to wherever your SDK3 was downloaded and download that one. And make sure you get the avatar and not the world's SDK. This will take a while to import, so just be patient. Once you have the VRChat SDK imported, you'll likely get this uh, pop-up there. I have mine uh, disabled at startup, so it didn't show up for me. But for you, it'll probably show up if this is your first time uploading a VRChat avatar. First thing you'll want to do is uh, open up the VRChat SDK. You can open the control panel by going to VRChat SDK and show control panel. You'll get this little panel here. You'll then need to log in using your VRChat username and password. Once you've logged in, it should say on the authentication tab, logged in as and your username. You will also want to note here if it says you are allowed to publish worlds or avatars. If you aren't allowed to, you need to play the game a little bit more. It's about 10 hours worth of gameplay time before you're able to publish anything. I'm just going to move this over here for nope. Move this over here for later. Next thing you'll want to do is import the dynamic bones package. I got mine from the asset store. You might have a different way of getting it, but just make sure that you get that imported before you import the uh, avatar package. All right, once you've got the dynamic bones package imported, You'll then need to import the avatar package. So once you've found where your uh, avatar package is located, go ahead and import it. Same way that you would import the SDK. You just go up to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Go ahead and import it. This will take a minute. All right, once you have it imported, that little window will disappear. And you need to find the included scene. Uh, give instructions on where the scene is located inside your readme. It might be on the, the base assets folder or it might be in a different folder. Depending on how you have your Unity set up, it might look different than this. But you'll want to look down here at your project and open up the mcobold folder. And your included scene will be right here. If you have the one column layout, you can just click on the mcobold and it'll be right here. Or if yours looks like this, then it'll be right there. You can hold down right click and use WASD to move around the scene. Once you have it open, you'll want to go over to your VRC SDK control panel and switch to the Builder tab. Yours might look different depending on what your settings are. Probably look like this. So once you've gotten to this point, go ahead and click Build and Publish for Windows. So we'll take a moment to build, so just be patient. Once it has finished building, it should bring you to this game screen right here. This is where you can name your avatar and set whatever stuff up you want. Uh, if you notice, my avatar has kind of bent down like this. You don't want that to happen. Go to your inspector with the cobalt selected. Find the animator. 
find the controller and set that to none. I'll put it back in a T-pose and that's a bit uh, easier to really set with the camera. So you'll notice here that it has a camera view of the avatar. We're going to move this camera right here to be in a better spot. Just click on it. You can use these arrows to move it around. You can also adjust these settings over here to uh, give you a better picture if you so want to. Once you have it looking good, go back to your game tab. Go ahead and name the avatar. Give it a description if you so want. And make sure you have it set to private. If you upload it as public, uh, I will be very upset. And then click this button here. Then go ahead and upload. This will take a bit to do. So once again, just be patient. Once it's uploaded, it'll tell you, update complete, launch VRChat, you upload content. You just go ahead and hit OK, and it'll be done. Now here in VRChat, uh, your home world will probably look a little bit different than this. Uh, it's very likely that your home world will have a mirror in it. To find your newly uploaded avatar, just open up the escape menu here, click on avatar, and it'll be right at the very first of your my creations list. Click change into avatar. And there you go. It is now uploaded. And that is how you upload one of my avatars.